for life. According to a new study, it just revealed that with just six months of training, German shepherds were able to sniff out breast cancer with 100% accuracy. Uh, they are not the only breed with a life saving skill. Is that no, right, Pete? They got a lot of skills right now, yeah. <laughs> here to tell us more is veterinary doctor Liz Bales. Liz, doctor, thanks for being here. Thank you for having so me. So tell us about this. It's a fascinating story. Yeah, so it's incredible. It's incredible. So these, and we're able to differentiate just by smelling the clothing which clothing had cancer cells. On it really? and which did not. The clothing. So you, the can, clothing. so you can train them just like anything else by giving them a treat. So I was going to say, my dog only responds to treats, as you can see here this morning. That's right, they make <laughs> a game of it. So these dogs have this talent. Sure. And we're it's just an able tumor. now yeah. to figure out how we can isolate those tumor cells so that they can learn how to smell it and then how to train them to communicate to us when they can differentiate between the tumor and not. It's, so, it's much like you know, bomb materials and others. Dogs are more effective than any technology we sure. have. In what ways would this be used in, or employed? I mean, where most effectively? Maybe where technology isn't available? Well, you're right. So th this study was particularly interesting in that they ran two trials. One trial was 90% effective. The other was 100% effective. Wow. And that actually is more accurate than any man-made test. Is that the future then of medicine? Mm. I mean, this is the first we've heard of this type of study, right? Most definitely, these dogs will be able to go to areas where they don't have mammograms and yep. that kind of technology and be able to do early, te uh, early de detection for, for people to get treatment way sooner than they would without it. Are there certain it. breeds that are better at it? So this particular <clears throat> study was with two German Shepherds. Okay. But this what about Goldens? <laughs> or what about George? Because they are Can George, only about George does look very sure. talented. And in fact, dogs ha all uh, bomb, bomb sniffing dogs or companion dogs. I mean, what they g capable of doing, the senses that they have, are uh, kind of endless. And we're you finding know, out Ruby with this too. Ruby has been barking all morning. I've never seen her so quiet. I know. You I'm have a, a new friend, Pete. You have a Not new only friend. can she detect cancer, but she's great on camera. She yeah. is. <laughs> These dogs have been so well behaved. Behaves in it. the spotlight. Doctor Liz Bale, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having stuff going on. All I've been looking forward to for the whole part of the show right now is bringing in Governor Mike Huckabee. You've been talking about it since hair and makeup. I really have. Yeah. Well, House Freedom Caucus members defending their plans to vote against the GOP health care plan as fellow Republicans, including our next guest, credit them for saving Obamacare. That's right. Republican Congress. All right, House Speaker Paul Ryan under fire. Um, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that he's getting too much of the blame here, or do you think that it's fair criticism? Oh, I think the best thing for Paul Ryan... Yeah, I've talked to Paul quite a bit, uh, uh, even since Friday. But uh, you know, for me, the the best thing he get in the future. So you mentioned he's got to he's got to bring all people to the table. The president has has hinted at even working with some Democrats to get those votes because it's going to be tough to get members of the Freedom Caucus and Democrats all on the same page. They are so far apart from each other. Do you you know this as governor? I mean, to get anything done, you have to work across the aisle. You have to to bring all types of voices to that table. Is that the advice you would give President Trump? Is to reach across the aisle to maybe hear from other people to get their thoughts? Seconds, don't look at each other. Look at me. Don't look at each other. If you've seen Dave, you really you don't you don't. Want to. I, I, I said I said that the morning show is aging me rapidly. Uh huh. And uh, I wasn't you said that say Dave, anything, but Dave is actually 25. Right. Exactly. Yep. You look at him, you might think, okay, <laughs> he's 50, maybe, maybe so 50, 25. maybe 60. No, <laughs> he's hiding now. He's 25. Well, he was taking our photo yesterday, right. and I think his knee went out. <laughs> right. <laughs> there he is. It is true, oh, though. Man. I mean, you will see, you know, how, like, you look at a president, and you see in the beginning of, like, their oh, yeah. term. And by President the, Obama was, was a Ray, great example I mean, of that. Abraham Lincoln, no one more, you know. Well, that, you've done mornings for a long time. What's I mean, your, I'm, what's your tip? You, you, you color you your like hair. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm 28. <laughs> no, you just celebrated 40, actually. That was a big milestone. Yeah, no, I mean, morning television, especially when you see, like, especially the crew that works overnight, like, they're there at midnight, yeah. the producers that are there. I mean, it really is. Like, it takes a lot out of your body. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is. It well, is and this show brutal. in particular, which is Fox and Friends 365 days a year, yeah. it never stops. Yep. I mean, if you think about it, it's a show that literally we never ends. We actually don't have one taped show. Is that right? At all. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. so Same every holiday, which we spend a lot of those holidays here on the couch, but they don't have other shows they'll tape. Uh, mm -hmm. Those lazy shows, like they tape for the holidays and stuff, so they can just sleep very, in on those days. Yeah, ours is never Not Fox and Friends. We nope. never stop working because we love our audience. We love being here. What we are love some what we of the do. shows you think are lazy? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to name it by networks. name. Other you networks. Know? Oh, the very <laughs> fake news networks. No, the networks I'm like that. Get you on the record on that. <laughs> yeah. I'm smarter than that, Clayton. I was raised yeah. by a politician. And it's because we love... We love our producers <laughs> who do it all. Yeah, Make we do. It all happen. We do. Really sweet, the, nothing's in our ear. And we love all of you. Thank you for watching the show really today. The sucking up after the show. That's right. <laughs> Have a good Sunday, everyone. That was blatant. We're going to dye my hair. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs>